here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Here we are, Monday, October 30th, 2023. We're here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse for the continuation of the Samuel Bankman Free trial. Um, he'll remain on direct until about midday today, and then the cross examination. We saw the practice version, the mock version, without the jury present last Thursday, and it wasn't pretty. Um, so far, though, on, on, on direct on Friday, Bankman Freed seemed pretty cogent. He told an alternative narrative of every event, including the spreadsheets, including blaming uh, Caroline Ellison for virtually everything. Whether it will break down on cross, which will be today in the afternoon and Tuesday, we'll see. After that, we have the charging conference, closing arguments, and then deliberation. So we're covering it closely uh, at Inner City Press on X and uh, a variety of other platforms. Now, there's a couple of other trials going on down here. One is the DEA bribery trial of Costanzo and Reccio. Um, that's across the street in, in uh, 40, uh, 40 Foley. It's really something. And, and during whatever breaks are, are taking place today, I'm going to head over there. Some really good exhibits, too. I don't want to confuse the two in the reporting, but it's, uh, it's worth checking out. There's also a civil case beginning today, with only with jury selection, of an aide to uh, Robert De Niro, suing Robert De Niro for discrimination. It's been bouncing around for a Sometime we've covered all the twists and turns, and it's actually coming to trial. Unless it settles on the eve of trial, it so often happens in civil matters. But we have to turn to Gaza. On Friday, as we predicted, there was a General Assembly resolution. It was passed, but it has absolutely no teeth. And therefore, just take a look at events on the ground in Gaza, and you'll see that the General Assembly uh, resolution is not worth the paper that it was printed on. But <clears throat> an amendment by Canada to, put, to name <clears throat> Hamas in it uh, was roundly defeated. And Antonio Guterres, who got a, a, a momentary play for, for kind of in an AI fashion, by rote calling for a ceasefire, is now in the Himalayas. Yes, a four-day junket in Nepal, in the middle of a crisis, the worst secretary general ever. Um, also a censor. He banned inner city press from entry because we asked these questions. But that's fine. We've applied to re-enter, but today, SBF, innercitypress.com.